try to align first, align this drill bit right on the hollow side. This is where it all begins. The cane is my eyes. It's the most vital tool that I use to recognize what's around me. It's an extension of yourself. I'm gonna have you come this way down the table. We are making a cast of a handle. This is our senior design project. We're working with the Blind Industries and Services of Maryland, also called BISM, and we're designing a manufacturing process that is fully non-visual so that blind associates could be making their own canes. There's been a lot of supply chain issues and orders are getting backed up. It's just so difficult to get things ordered, especially something complicated like a composite cane. We wanted to bring it here and create a way for them to be making their own canes. I love the partnership that we have with Johns Hopkins. Perfect. When I heard they're coming out building canes and exploring what that means, that sounded so exciting. I I'm feeling bamboo, maybe? This is actually Garden State. Oh, yeah. yeah, okay. We were trying to come up with as much out of the box things we could think of that could be a cane. It's always been a straight white cane. Well, hey, what other materials could you use? We actually decided to go with three different canes, which is the garden stake, the bamboo, and the fiberglass. And we are going to have a process for each one. And there's also different types of handles that we can slide on and off just to make it fully modular and just really customizable. It's got to start somewhere and it starts with exploration and discussing ideas and trying things or for that matter trying something and not having it work and learning through that experience it's so valuable. It makes you feel like a real engineer. I think the most rewarding part of this project has been working with the people at BISM. Not only just making it for them but like making a process so that they could make it themselves. But yeah we can definitely look into maybe a locking sort of mechanism for that.